There's over 2,000 species of edible mushrooms out there, and one species that has gotten considerable attention are turkey tail mushrooms, which grow all over the world, including the United States. And yes, in case you're wondering, turkey tail mushrooms got their name because they resemble the tail of turkeys. But trivia aside, today let's focus on the research looking at turkey tail mushrooms helping people who have cancer. Before we dive into the research, you should know that if you go looking for information on turkey tail mushrooms, you'll quickly realize that they go by a bunch of different scientific names and common names. And while this can seem confusing, one thing that you can focus on as you do your research is to look for the word versicolor. The word versicolor shows up in many of the scientific names for turkey tail mushrooms. So looking for that word will give you an indication that you're on the right track and looking at the correct variety of mushrooms. Turkey tail mushrooms contain a broad spectrum of bioactive molecules, including terpenes and sterols and lectins, and also molecules called polysaccharide peptides, two of which I want to call your attention to include polysaccharides peptides crestin, PSK, and also polysaccharides peptides, PSP. Okay, so what does the research actually say about turkey tail mushrooms helping people who have cancer? So we have this preliminary study showing that turkey tail mushrooms appear to have anti-skin cancer effects, at least in isolated cells in a petri dish. In this next paper involving people who had non-small cell lung cancer, 28 days treatment with turkey tail mushrooms was shown to lead to improvements in white blood cells and antibodies. While turkey tail mushrooms did not appear to lead to improvements in lung cancer, the mushroom appeared to slow the decline of cancer in those people who consume the mushrooms. In this next clinical trial, people who had the HPV virus were given a combination of turkey tail mushrooms and Ganoderma mushrooms, also known as Rishi mushrooms, and it was shown that after just two months, those people given the combination of mushrooms showed an 88% improved clearance of the high risk types of of the HPV virus. Now that's a very interesting outcome. I will point out that because people received a combination of these two mushrooms, we don't know from this study if turkey tail mushrooms themselves will lead to an increased clearance of the HPV virus. In this next investigation, and this one's a small one, nine women who had breast cancer were given different dosages of turkey tail mushrooms, either three grams a day, six or nine grams a day for up to six weeks. So it was reported here that women taking between six and nine grams of turkey tail mushrooms a day, they showed an increase in T lymphocyte white blood cells and an increase also in natural killer cell activity. Natural killer cells are the types of immune cells that actively go out and hunt for cancer. And following up with this, when other researchers looked at 13 previous turkey tail mushroom studies, they concluded that there was strong evidence that turkey tail mushrooms could aid in the survival of people suffering from breast cancer and stomach cancer and also colon cancer as well. Although they also do point out that there is a need for greater research in this area. In this next paper, 15 individuals with inoperable liver cancer were given either a placebo or two 2.4 grams of turkey tail mushrooms each day for up to three months. While turkey tail mushrooms were shown to improve the quality of life of those individuals more than people who took placebos, they did not appear to slow the progression of liver cancer. I will point out here that 15 individuals is not an awful lot, so I would like to see this clinical study replicated with a larger sample size to get a better handle on how effective turkey tail mushrooms might be for liver cancer. Now switching gears for a moment, for the pet lovers who are watching this, here is a study that appeared to show that turkey tail mushroom extract was shown to slow the progression of blood cancer in dogs. In this next investigation, this one is one of the largest that I uncovered, 1,000 people with stage two and stage three stomach cancer were given PSK. That is one of the substances that is thought to be one of the key active ingredients in turkey tail mushrooms. And they were given PSK for up to 12 months. Treatment with turkey turkey tail PSK extract was shown to improve the survival of some of the people with stomach cancer. However, in others, it didn't appear to work so well. Okay, so let's drill down a little bit more on this. So here is a summary 
of the amounts of turkey tail mushrooms highlighted in the studies that I just reviewed. Keep in mind that due to the lack of human clinical trials, I would not take these amounts as gospel across the board because we really do need more research on this topic. And if you are watching this video and you have cancer right now, please speak to your doctor before using mushroom supplements, especially if you're currently undergoing chemo or radiation therapy. What do you think of all this? Leave a comment below and let me know. And until next time, take care out there.